Here is what to expect for your first appointment. Your first appointment may be at Niagara Children's Center, a satellite location, be conducted over the phone or your child's school. If your appointment is at our main location on Glenridge Avenue, please follow the signs to the correct parking location. You are welcome to invite other family members, caregivers, or professionals involved with your child to attend. When you enter the main reception, please check in with our receptionist who will let your therapist know you have arrived. The first appointment is an opportunity for our clinicians to learn about your child's strengths and needs. This will involve asking you questions while observing and interacting with your child in various activities. Depending on your child's needs one or all of the following professionals may be involved with your child. Occupational therapists help to improve your child's level of independence and functioning in everyday activities such as feeding, dressing, toileting, play, and fine motor tasks. Speech-language pathologists can assess a variety of communication challenges, including speech sound production, speech flow, language, social skills and auditory skills for children with permanent hearing loss. Physiotherapists can help improve movement delays and gross motor skills, gait, range of motion, quality of movement, muscle tone, strength and posture. Social workers provide children, youth and families with social, emotional, and information supports. You may also meet professionals such as preschool resource, consultants, behavior consultants, and recreational therapists. To make the best use of this time with the clinician, here are some suggestions. Write down any questions or concerns you have before the assessment, bring any items your clinician has suggested and write down the clinician's comments or suggestions. At the end of the assessment, the clinician will summarize their observations, provide you with their recommendations and discuss next steps. This may include discharge if your child's skills appear to be developing typically or placement into a therapy service delivery model. If you are not clear about a comment or suggestion or terminology used, please do not hesitate to ask for clarification. Make sure you are clear about what the next steps will be with each of the clinicians involved. Most importantly, come excited to be a part of a loving and caring community. Please watch the next video in the series where we discuss our family-centered care philosophy.